It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, our queen has been dethroned. The React meta is over. Just kidding! <laughs> Here's some more Hell's Kitchen. Chat, we are on episode 8 of Hell's Kitchen. We have seen highs and lows. And through it all, Virginia, K. Grease, Heather, and Sarah. Let's see who goes home today. It's going to be a barn burner. Let's get into the content. Hell's Kitchen, episode 8. She so has done good at creating dishes and jumps. It's jealous. a hard knock life. Like, I'm the only person on this team. <laughs> Sarah always looks like she just mainlined some heroin, dude. She's got the glaze in her eyes. Am I crazy? So badly. It's a hard knock life. Like, I'm the only person on this team that <laughs> is literally... Hey, <laughs> monkey. I love bipolar. Virginia. As far as I'm concerned, Virginia has no skills. So I'm worried <laughs> about my chances against Heather or Keith. That's competition. <laughs> Jesus. I'm a pimp, son. What can you expect? I had to get rid of the dudes. Now I'm the only dude left. Hopefully. He's a pimp, son. Kate Reese makes it. Who thinks they're the strongest chef? I guess I do, chef. I think I'm the strongest chef. You think you're the strongest chef? Good. I think I'm the strongest too, chef. Thank God you spoke up. <laughs> I thought he was going to make fun of her like no fucking shot. Three strong chefs and one. I think I'm a strong chef um, when it comes to food, but I am weak in the hot kitchen. I personally think you're all strong chefs. Oh. Because you've all gone to hell and back. Now I forgot, at the end of season one, Gordon did get a lot nicer to them. <laughs> and so maybe this is like the turn. Now it's getting really serious. They're actually decent and today, chefs. You'll be getting your own restaurant to run for lunch. Yeah. There are phenomenal rewards when you win these challenges. Immunity. Today's winner Immunity. will have a guaranteed spot in the final three. Insane. Out of all the Damn, you can sabotage. Imagine you bank the challenge and then you go in the kitchen and you just throw Sarah's shit on the floor. <laughs> just, oh, I tripped, wham. Uh, you could go crazy. The restaurants that Chef Ramsay referred to. Food trucks. Are catering trucks. <laughs> Take your light bulbs off. The chefs will have one hour to prepare their lunch specials for 100 construction workers. Man like stuff to chew on. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, dude? Microgreens. Heather has cooked a grilled chicken sandwich with French fries. Yeah, now we're talking. like a grilled chicken sandwich <laughs> and French fries. Here come the construction workers. Mi corazón is in the piso ahorita. I was hoping that I could win through the... <laughs> she never ceases to amaze me. Power is speaking the language of my homie. Watch out, I hate <laughs> My homie. See? Watch out for the well, boss. Sarah. Okay, lunch is over. I'm gonna announce the winner, Bag of Hell's Kitchen. This reward means more than any other reward so far in Hell's Kitchen. That's the insane. Three. The food trick challenge gets them through the top move. Three. Let's start with the dish they like least. Heather. I felt my heart. No, the chicken sandwich and fries? Drop. Now for the winner. And that was cooked by Virginia. You're in the final three. Oh, yes! Congratulations. Oh, so it's either Sarah or me? a choke job. Sorry? Are you lying? Not a joke. Just kidding. I didn't think that anybody liked it. <laughs> I liked it. Did you like it? <laughs> wow. I want Virginia to get her spunk back. You know what I'm saying? She was like a fireball early on. But the challenges don't really matter. Dude, the challenge matters. She's on to top three. She can't run a fucking restaurant. Heather. Yeah. I'm not doing shit for her tomorrow. No, you not the Elsie Gambit. Right oh, well, she's through. I'm just so sick of that girl winning. Ah! <laughs> I was very, very excited. The big one. What is that called? A cleaver. A cleaver. Cleaver, thank you. And I'll name it Chef Ramsay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I love when she says just kidding, dude. Like, <laughs> Kiss the cook. Oh, shit. <laughs> I definitely got to. She walks around with this grin all day long. Every time she wins, yeah. Oh, I'm they're like, turning on Virginia. Wipe that grin off your face, or I'm going to wipe it off for you. <laughs> they make you her wash the face. A thousand. A thousand dollars? What the fuck? <laughs> Better got me something. I did. Oh. I got you something, sir. Oh, she got them all something, chat. Don't get mad. No. Oh, don't get mad. Maybe not. It's a joke. It's for cream. <laughs> she got her a cow. Oh, really? 
Big bucks. <laughs> big bucks. Hey, Sarah. Fuck you. <laughs> this is for you. The crab. <laughs> you guys already have all this stuff, though. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Fuck you, Sarah. Are you guys mad at me? <laughs> you just gave Sarah a cow. I definitely earned this win. She's a mess. She's a total. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna take care of myself. It's funny I'm hearing that from the psychopath. For the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, I have invited three top chefs. They're gonna be eating dinner in Hell's Kitchen. Oh. You four are gonna be cooking for them. I don't want to fork up the table, Maybe 41. Two spaghetti, one no lobster. Two salads and jack, entree, two wellington, two salmon. Yes, chef. Let's go, to tapura and jack, let's go. The final four have hit the ground running, and the kitchen is working better than it ever has before. Can I just say, I've never started this service off so positively. Hello, can we keep it going? Yes, yes chef. Let's go. I don't okay, want to see table, the table 30. Best. Where are the green beans? Service, please. Where are the green beans? Oh, hello, Dizzy Lizzy. Can, can you give out the garnish now, please, Virginia? Who's holding this up, Heather? Virginia, chef. Why are we holding this table up? You're trying to go as fast as you can. Do me a favor. Yes, hello. Chef. Hello. Look yes, at me in chef. the eyes. Watch her for two minutes. Yes, chef. That's fast. I'm ready. <laughs> can you please go? Yes, Heather, chef. Heather, this is amazing. Thank you, chef. Those oh. Wellingtons are cooked perfect. This is the best start we've ever had in Hell's Kitchen. Let's go, Heather. Yes, okay. yes chef. The three master chefs have arrived. Make them your best spaghetti lobster. <laughs> Fish course. What are you going to Garbage. Serve serving garbage. Serve one and spaghetti and lobster yes? seems like yes, such yes, a chef. heavy appetizer. Okay. Yes, chef. You know, I've been killing it on the line, so what do I got to be nervous about? <laughs> Dribbling spaghetti out of your mouth Keith on camera? He has undercooked the pasta for the chef's table, but rather than call attention to his mistake, he's taking a chance and reboiling the spaghetti. Three nice spaghetti for the chef's table, please. Not a reboil. You think he's Three not going to notice a reboil, Keith? We'll go. Why is the salmon so slow? Because I didn't have an extra on fire, chef. My mistake. Missy, I know it's your mistake, clearly. I need two minutes, chef. Still two minutes. Still, time Five is not minutes. moving? Two minutes. You better be ready. Sarah, <laughs> chef. now you keep him back. Yes, Chef. The entrees. Yes, Chef. I can spot the weak link in the chain. Missy. Yes, oh, Sarah. Sarah. The master chefs are just finishing Keith's appetizer. Part of it's cooked really well, but it's like part of it didn't go in the water. Spaghetti wasn't cooked all the way the same. Some bits are, are just cooked right and some others aren't. They're not really impressed. OK, fine. Fuck off. There you go. Unfortunately, Oof. Keith's gamble didn't pay off. Hey, big boy. Oh, I yeah, know it's not your best idea. service. Hey. A dinner service that started with such great promise has begun to unravel. Is there any other salmon in the house? What's going on? Tell me! I'm the fucking chef! Yes, chef. I don't have enough salmon to get through the night. You're not serious, are you? I am serious, Chef. I'd fuck off and go and buy some if I was you. <laughs> You're finished, aren't you? Oh, Chef, come on. <laughs> hey, what do you mean, come on? I want you to come on. Chef, I told you, and they're resolving it now. And That's right. It's only two. And whose fucking fault was it? It's chef. Yeah? yeah? You're finished. <laughs> Heather, she is get finished. Get the fish, please. Screwed up one fucking table with one fucking salmon. I wasn't beat. Don't get up on my crotch about shit. <laughs> Sarah has succeeded in defending her territory for now. Wow, I've never seen him push back on, on the swamp. Dish. Heather's oh calling it out. Not in front of the chef. Keith, could you run back and get me cream, please, as fast as you can? No. Oh my God! Keith. No megalol. Can you run back and with the thiz face? Oh no! No! Give me cream, please, as fast as you can. No! Move, <laughs> Missy, let's go. Who does she think Heather. she is? Two minutes, halfway. Yes? yes. Yes. Slow it down, Heather. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sarah, what did you just say? What is slow it down? Hey, listen, you stupid cow. Yes, oh. Slow down. Hey, missus, you've got the nerve to tell her to slow down. Yes, chef, sorry. Yeah, I fucking right. Apologize to her. Heather, I'm sorry. Hey, missus, <laughs> say as if you... Heather, I'm sorry. Hey, at least it was real. It. Next, we'll be asked to pluck my eyebrows or shave my fucking ninny. You can go in free salmon? Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Cabbage. I just burnt the cabbage. I've just burnt the cabbage. Yes, yeah, chef. I burnt the cabbage, chef. She's burnt the cabbage. I just burnt the cabbage. Take Gordo is just poking. Back. Oh, my God. Hey, Missy. Yes, chef. You're no longer safe. What? You're no longer safe. What the fuck was the point of the challenge then? Virginia's no longer safe. And I was like... 
minutes ago. Two minutes to the window. That's one crazy. Minute. What That's are you shouting crazy. out? Two minutes, one minute. Also, don't you dare talk about the rules creating competitive integrity on this show. Gordon's already done some wild shit. Heather. Yes, chef. Well done. Thanks. Clear down. Yes, chef. I mean, now that her immunity's revoked, she's got to go home. being the service. Chef's comment cards. They loved the Wellington. Thank you, chef. That's your best performance ever. Thank you. Wow. You were easily the best chef in the kitchen this evening. Thank you, chef. Have a good, long, hard, serious think and come back with two nominees for elimination. She might try and tuck him in Spidey Mike style. Cause the appetizer, she can always use the spaghetti excuse. They sent the spaghetti back and then send K Grease. But I don't, th if K Grease goes, I think either of the other ladies goes before him. I don't think I'm ready to open up a restaurant. If I can't even run a veg station, I can't open up a restaurant. Honestly, I mean, I really do. I'm gonna go up there and be like, dude, I'm not ready. Definitely put me up there. I totally respect you for that. I, whenever they do something like this, they go up there and they say the exact opposite as a big skamaz. Although, to be fair, Virginia hasn't lied all season. Yeah, the problem is you would think that you keep the weak people in so they're easy to beat. But if you do that, Gordon will sometimes just ignore you. So the whole... Okay, understand one thing, chat. This is farcical. This is reality television. For example, let's say there was one other chef in the kitchen, we'll call him Jim, who was terrible. And they nominated Kay, Grease, and Sarah instead of Jim and Virginia. Gordo would say, you're wrong, go stand back there, and then he would call up Jim and Virginia. So it doesn't really matter who you nominate, it's all just theater at this point. Yeah, whenever you think you understand the rules of the show, just throw it out, it's Gordo's show, he does whatever he wants. Typically, he only throws out the bad chef. First nominee, and why, please? My first nominee is Virginia Chef. Dude, this could be a Virginia girl boss arc. She could have just lied. Oh my god, I hope so. Second nominee, and why? I don't believe my Heather or Kay Grease have been nominated Sarah ever. Chef, because of her Maybe performance tonight episodes. as well. Chef, I'm not gonna stand here and nitpick on the specific situations that went down tonight. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Well, I knew you were gonna ask me that question tonight. Because I've been up here about 100 billion times, and I have serious doubts on myself tonight. If I can't even run, I, I wanted to be like, yo, I got immunity, go fuck yourself. I don't think I deserve to win Hell's Kitchen. What am I saying? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> She's honest to a fault and also a little dumb. I guaranteed your place in the final three, and I'm a man of my word. <laughs> If you want to go, that is your choice. Oh, you have the chance to fuck over Sarah. You've got to do it. If you decide to stay, oh. I'll send Sarah home. Fuck yeah. Send her home. I understand what you're telling me, but I want to be in the final three because I deserve to be in the final three, not because of you're a man of your word or because of the freaking. I can't help you anymore. <laughs> this decision. May I ask a question, chef? Shut the fuck up for 30 seconds. <laughs> Please send Sarah home. Please send Sarah home. Hell no, I don't want to go. Let's go! Of course I don't want to go. I want to freaking stay. Want to know what? <laughs> oh, look at it. They're like, oh, this is probably good for us. Because I fucking want to. <laughs> Watching Sarah lose because of lies and scamming, it feels so good. Virginia. Yes, chef. I respect your decision. Sarah. Chef. Take off your jacket. Yes, chef. And leave your <laughs> kitchen. That's so funny. As we say in Texas, kiss my grits, chef. Your grits. <laughs> kiss my grits. Good night, sweetheart. I told you, get back in the kitchen and fuck off. <laughs> I'm going to miss her so I much. Came here. Quick pup date. Uh, I heard through the grapevine that unfortunately Sarah was arrested for domestic violence right after this and went to prison. So we shouldn't feel too bad. She's actually crazy. It wasn't just a TV show. Yeah, why would I lie to you guys about that? This <laughs> has been a phenomenal journey. <laughs> Each and every one of you. I've had highs and lows. That's Earlier, crazy. I did not feel that like I was meant to be here, but now I do. I'm a little shocked about what happened. My biggest problem is battling myself. I'm not worried about any of these girls. Okay, Grease rise to the top, baby. Get... Good night. Thank you, Chef. Sarah's not good enough as a cook. She made so many simple mistakes. No, I didn't know she was heading home. She definitely didn't. All know I knew was she got arrested for domestic violence. Hello, sweetheart.